the last day of my teaching uh, in Young Learners course. guys welcome back to my channel online super teacher I'm Nathalie Cousin and I represent the website onlinesuperteacher.com an excellent website for English teachers and English learners today I would like to talk to you about IH SOAP certification the certification that you require if you would like to teach English to children and teens in Asia I will be referencing you a lot to my CELTA video which you can check if you click this link above and uh, why because uh, I've already given all the important information about CELTA in that video so I am CELTA has more or less the same information as the CELTA one uh, before we start this video I would like to show you some of the uh, comments of my former uh, colleagues in IH SOAP certification and let's see what they think. So, um, I feel like it went well to, to, during the course. I have improved a lot day by day after FTP from TP because of effective feedback from tutors. Constructive. Constructive, yeah. <laughs> Meaningful feedback. Yeah. Yeah, do, so did you like the course so far? What did you so much? But this is so intensive. I feel like the course, yeah, this true. course is more intensive than CELTA yeah. because of the short course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But because do you recommend this course sure, for, for, for the, other teachers? For the teachers who want to strongly recommend to do a teach for teach the young men as teachers. teachers. They should attend this so you can say everybody to become professional. Everybody, please come and join us and to become professional. Please let us see why LT course to become professional while you learn teachers. Okay, okay. 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 great. Then do you think this course is useful? Oh, it's very useful. Actually, I got an offer from an international school before I came to here, so they asked me to teach for their kids. Great! So you can recommend this course to other teachers to Oh, of course! Lots of people will be asking me about where am I and what did I do in the last two weeks. So I think they will be happy to hear this. Yay! Well. Give me five. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think about your last TV? How you feel about it? I think it was great and I feel like my TV has been improving day by day, honestly, hopefully. <laughs> and I think the student will enjoy the song and me also. Um, I think the tutor has given lots and lots of feedback, good feedback, but like there are some areas that I need to work on. But overall, I think it was great lesson. Mm -hmm. That's it. Do you, did you learn some new things, new techniques from this course? Yeah, yeah, I have learned a lot actually. Because like I have never taught a song to kids in my life, so this is the first time teaching song to kids, and it was fun. Great to hear that. So, would you recommend this course to everybody? For yeah, other I would. Teachers to the kids. I would definitely recommend that the teacher who uh, need on to teach kids not only Yana but also kids, please do that. That would be very useful and effective for your teaching life. Thank you, teacher Tiha. Give me ten. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so the last day of teaching is over. What yes. do you think? I the uh, video. Oh, video? <laughs> yes. Okay. Excited. Excited. And I still have one portfolio task. Yeah. And I will do it. I will finish it today. And I will have nothing to do tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Good. <laughs> and uh, did you learn something from this course? Well, of course, I learned something. I learned something includes <laughs> games for children and dynamics between children. And so, will you recommend this course for other teachers who want to teach little young learners? Yes, of course. And especially when uh, I never taught children before, and I can have a chance to familiar myself with the children teaching, and it's and set a standard for me. Give me all the procedures and all things I should pay attention to in my future teaching. So it's very beneficial. Mm -hmm. 
very really serious teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. How do you feel about the last EP? Actually, it went well. So it was a good job. Done and dusted. Yes. Great. I don't care about the rest. Okay. <laughs> But was this course useful to you? Oh, it was very useful. I really learned a lot. The tutors were great. They were very supportive, constructive, and they had lots of nice ideas. So I really enjoyed it. I would do it again in okay. my to Bangkok. Yay! Good. <laughs> so you, uh, you advise others? I, yeah, I highly teachers. recommend the course. And yes, the tutors and my, I like my classmates as well. There's all. Nicely thought, you know, course and everything. So, yeah. Good. Thanks. If you are planning to teach English in Thailand or any other part of the world and in Asia in particular, the chances are you're going to teach children and teenagers. Most international schools require qualified teachers with specific certification on teaching English to kids and teenagers. That is why before applying to school you need to obtain a specific certification that I'm going to talk about today. It is called IH CELT certification which stands for International House Certificate in Teaching Younger Learners and Teenagers. I will be referencing to it as IH CELT today. By obtaining this certification, IH CELT, it, uh, you will be recognized all over the world. All certificates go both with an International House and Cambridge logo. The International House Young Learners and Teenagers program is an extremely practical course designed to enable candidates to effectively transfer and apply their existing English teaching skills from an adult to a young learners and teenagers context. Gain a deeper understanding of how young learners and teenagers learn and how to cater to their needs, interests and motivation. Plan for and stage effective lessons in order to teach language lessons and to develop their language skills. Acquire and use a range of communicative activities, games and resources in order to make language learning fun, communicative and meaningful. Develop effective classroom management strategies and techniques in order to completely manage classes of young learners and teenagers. Continue their own personal development as teaching professionals after the course. Um, let's go through some uh, entry requirements first. All participants need to have um, English level minimum of C1 of common European framework. Because all the sessions are in academic English and you will have also two written assignments that must be written in academic English as well. Participants must be over 18 years old and be educated to university entrance level. Participants must successfully complete the application form and pre-course task. Participants must successfully complete face-to-face -face interview or Skype interview. And the most important guys, you must have interest in teaching young learners and teenagers. Because if you are not interested in teaching them, how will you be acting great in your classes? Well, of course you're going to ask me what's the price for the IH SOAT certification course. It's 900 US dollars. You can convert it to your own currency. How to apply to the course? Basically, you need three steps. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, download and complete the pre-course task, so-called IH SOAT application form. 
You fulfill this application form and then you send uh, to International House and then they will contact you during seven days and you will have face-to-face -face interview or you can have a Skype interview, a telephone interview. I prefer um, a face-to-face -face interview. I feel like I'm establishing the rapport with my future trainer. I had face-to-face -face interviews both in my CELTA course and my IH CELT course. What is IH CELT application form or pre-course task? Um, you will have some tasks um, to complete to see how well you know English uh, and also the most important, how can you explain some English structures, some in, uh, convey the meaning in English in uh, children-friendly language. Because you know kids and teenagers, they don't know English li really well, that's why you are teaching them. And if you're going to explain them in some academic English they will not understand. That's why the, the task is designed to see how well you will convey the meaning, how well you let them understand what you want them to learn. Um, in my pre-course task, I not only uh, explained the structures, but I also said how I would use my body language to convey the meaning, especially for very young learners. like to tell you a little bit about a typical day. So your typical day starts at 9 and finishes at 5. From 9 to 12 you have your input sessions where you learn from your trainers. Um, then from 12.15 to 1 you have your um, assisted lesson planning. Then from 2 to 4.30 you have your teaching practice. So you're gonna teach 45 minutes lesson. Or if you don't teach that day, you observe your peers teaching. Finally, from 4.30 to 5, you have a lesson feedback session. There will be at least two trainers in each course, one of whom will act as the main course tutor. All IHCL trainers have to be approved by International House World. Before undertaking the training necessary to become an IHCL trainer, your tutors will have acquired the Cambridge Delta and will have many years experience of teaching young learners in various countries. I had three amazing trainers on my uh, IHCL course. Danny Wilcox, Matt Parks and Tom Dwarden. to say thank you now in my video you prepared me great for uh, this IH uh, certification it was such a pleasure to work with you you were given really great ideas great commentaries and reasonable suggestions for my action points in our feedback sessions so now I feel like after uh, this IH certification course I'm really prepared and I'm really trained well to teach uh, young learners. Uh, basically, you might uh, have four to six trainees to one trainer. You might expect around six to eight trainees per course. Altogether, we had 12 trainees. We had people from Myanmar, Thailand, Australia, Turkey, China, and Russia for sure. I liked a lot my fellow colleagues. We helped each other with tasks, shared ideas to make our lessons engaging and interesting, gave constructive feedback to help each other to progress. We were having a lot of fun. Thank you for watching this video, guys. It was really lovely to have you all during my IH Silt course. There are three possible grades fail 
pass and pass with distinction. The majority of uh, all trainees get pass and only around 25% of all trainees get a pass with distinction and just uh, a few get fail. So what are the basic requirements to pass and to obtain and to get your certification? You're constantly being assessed during your TP practices, which is the key part of your of getting your pass, guys. You need 100% of attendance as well as in SOTA course. Also, you need to participate and attend in 30 hours of trainer input sessions on subject knowledge and English methodology. You need to complete three hours of observed teaching practice. The same as the CELTA guys. You need to observe six hours of observation of the experienced teachers and your peers. Also, you need to uh, give minimum of eight observation tasks. Also, you need to submit uh, seven portfolio tasks or more. Uh, there are 11 of them and two of them are compulsory. And you need to submit two written assignments as well. All of this is piled up together and sent to Cambridge electronically. And in Cambridge, guys are assessing you and uh, the grade which your trainer has given to you. So also on your third TP, you will be recorded for around 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, and this recording will be sent to Cambridge. Why it is done? It's just to show how you're teaching in real because you will not have a real um, Cambridge assessor like in CELTA. you are about to fail uh, your trainer will let you know in advance and will help you to uh, succeed and will give you some advice on how you can change your uh, work in order to get your pass so don't worry you will get it I obtained my IHSO certification in International House in Bangkok, the same as I did uh, in SOTA course. And I would love to say that it's quite similar to SOTA because um, the structure is more or less the same, but the amount of work is much bigger than in SOTA. For those who think that SOTA is an intense course, you should try teaching young learners course because this one, it's like you take Zelta and you squeeze it, all the materials, all the preparations, everything you squeeze in, the, in two weeks. So, Young Learner's course is, uh, is like Zelta in two weeks. So it's really intense, really, you prepare like crazy. I had no time to look at my phone, I had no time, like spare minutes to just waste. So let's compare four written assignments. Here you have two. You might think, yes, it's great. Uh, but at the same time, you had your uh, lesson observations in CELTA, uh, which were not compulsory to uh, present in your uh, feedback sessions. You were just uh, telling what you think about your peers' performance. But here it is compulsory to fulfill special forms of observation um, lessons and then present send them to your trainer for to check so it, they are assessed as well also you have your seven and more portfolio tasks which are compulsory to pass if you want to uh, get your IHSO certification so basically you work more uh, the plus is you don't have to present language analysis uh, like you did in CELTA, for example. You had uh, your lesson plan for 45 minutes, right? And you also had your lesson uh, language analysis um, uh, paper. Here, you don't have to. But you have to present seven or more portfolio tasks, uh, lesson observations of your peers, and you need to complete two of written assignments. So that's the difference. Believe me, this is really intense course. Uh, these two weeks you will be preparing a lot. Input session topics include 
understanding young learners and the practical differences between young learner and adult learner language acquisition, teaching methodology, how to demonstrate different lessons so that they meet different aims, individual sessions on how to develop the uh, learner's productive and receptive skills. The selection and exploitation of resources and materials, lots of practical games and activities to engage young learners and give the fun, meaningful and communicative language practice. How to deal with the issues in the class such as L1, mixed ability classes as well as dealing with parents. Sessions are usually last 75 to 90 minutes each and are led by a trainer but typically require a lot of active involvement of trainees discussing answers, solving problems and analyzing what you have been shown. You sit with your trainer and your trainer helps you to uh, prepare for your lesson plan but don't expect that your uh, trainer will do everything for you you need to come already with your lesson plan ideas at least of what you're gonna do for your next class so uh, your trainer will just review it and uh, maybe correct you a little bit he will not just uh, prepare your lesson for you be ready to bring your ideas better if they are already structured usually TP is a two and a half hour block and takes place every day trainees are divided into TP groups with a maximum size of six trainees and each TP group with the one trainer is responsible for a particular class of students for a one-week period is conducted the day after your TP. You will be expected to write a short self-evaluation of your own lesson and very often you will be given time to discuss each other's lessons first as a group without the trainer. Once the trainer joins you, he or she will naturally take a directive role in the discussion. You will be expected to reflect on your own performance. Developing an ability to evaluate your own teaching is a very important component of the course. The role of feedback is to lead you to see what you need to change in order to teach more effectively. It's not only about teaching and giving information to them. No, it's mostly about how getting them interested in what you want to say. It's not about what you teach to young learners, it's about how you teach them. So you're acting a little bit more like a clown sometimes. You improvise, you dance, you sing with them, you play games, but through this you also give them important information of the subject. The learning only takes place when the student is engaged, so he is interested in your class. Only after you can make sure that he will learn something from you. That's why in our classes we wanted to make our students happy, we wanted them to uh, be engaged and uh, get joy in our classes.
if you don't have teaching experience, unfortunately, you cannot really take IHSOT course. The course is designed for people to apply their existing teaching skills to young learners. This means that candidates must have basic classroom management skills, knowledge of how to plan lessons and ideas how to set up communicative lessons. If you don't have any experience, then I can recommend taking the CELTA first and doing the IH CELTA as an extension. The course is open to non-native speakers, however, all candidates must have a minimum English language level of C1 on the common European framework of reference for languages. No formal academic requirements are set, but you must demonstrate in your application and in your interview that you have sufficient competence in both spoken and written English to cope with the demands of the course and the needs of your prospective students. group we still have a little bit of mess here a place where trainees sit and our amazing tutors who assess us also sit my assessment triangle there behind you can see it now as my last piece over I feel relieved but at the same time I feel upset because for these only two classes I feel so attached and connected to these students they are really nice smart and amazing they all have their own personalities and I really loved and enjoyed the time teaching them and I hope they will have an other amazing teachers in the future yeah but if you love teaching children if you like teaching learn young learners like me and if you want to improve in your teaching career and if you see yourself a young learners teacher you definitely need to try this course you need to go through it you need to feel it and you will grasp the atmosphere and you get new knowledge which is really useful to teach young learners. I hope this video was useful to you guys and you liked watching it. And if you would like to know more about me and watch more videos about me, be sure to subscribe to my channel Online Super Teacher and be sure to check my website onlinesuperteacher.com to find this website you can see in the description down below. I really appreciate your comments guys so you can drop your comments down below in the comment box. Also be sure to put a like on this video, share this with your friends and subscribe to my channel Online Super Teacher. See you in other videos. Bye-bye.